The entire board of Australia Post is appearing before a Senate inquiry today, which is investigating the departure of former Chief Executive Christine Holgate. Joining me now is our business reporter, Edward Boyd. And Ed, several union officials are scheduled to appear this morning. They're appearing right now and it looks like it's going to go over time. Um, but there's been some interesting testimony already this morning. We've got several unions appearing at once. They're all very supportive of Christine Holgate in her role as the, as the chief, former role as the Chief Executive of Australia Post. They're all strongly opposed to this secret Boston Consulting Group report, BCG report, which made a number of recommendations to improve Australia Post. Those included privatising the parcels business and would result in thousands of job losses and could make running a post office unprofitable. So the licensed post office group are very supportive of Christine Holgate as CEO. They say she's been wronged. And the National Secretary of the Communications Electrical and Plumbing Union, well, he's also supportive of Holgate. And he spoke a short time ago calling for the Board of Australia Post to be sacked. Take a listen. If we're going to fix the issues plaguing Australia Post, the entire board needs to go. We need to start from scratch so that we can get Australia's postal network back on track. This inquiry so far has uncovered seriously problematic decisions at Australia Post at its time the board and it's time that the board was held to account. We're calling for the appointment of new board members through an independent process. Wow, Senate inquiries are never this exciting, but Australia Post uh, for the last couple of weeks has really delivered there. And Ed, one of the key witnesses will be Tony Nutt, a board member of Australia Post and former Liberal Party Federal Director. He's scheduled to appear at 11.40, but it looks like with the way things are going, it will be quite a bit later in the day. But his testimony is going to be quite important. He's the only member of the Australia Post board that is appearing alone. The rest of them are appearing as a group. So his testimony is significant because on the day that the Cartier Watchers scandal broke, the 22nd of October last year, Christine Holgate says she was speaking to him constantly on the phone, talking about her role at the company, what she should do. She says together they agreed that she would take some leave, she would take a holiday while this investigation into the Cartier Watchers scandal occurred. And then, at the end of that investigation, obviously come back into her job. Well, what happened later that day was Prime Minister Scott Morrison in question time said Miss Holgate had been told to stand aside and if she didn't want to stand aside, she can go. So a few different mixed messages occurring there and I think... We're going to hear from Tony Nutt and the, the, the members of the Senate inquiry are going to be asking him a lot of questions about what his phone calls were with Christine that day, what they agreed on and what actually what actually ended up happening. So he's up at 11, well, 11.40. He's scheduled to appear for about 40 minutes and it's going to be quite an interesting thing to listen into. Yes, interesting indeed. Ed, thanks so much.